You're almost done with this workout. At least the first round anyways. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. Got a really cool video for you guys. I'm gonna take you through a full body dumbbell workout for beginners that you can do at home. So I'm gonna give you a bunch of different exercises. It doesn't even take really heavy dumbbells. So if you got some at home, you're gonna be able to do this workout. So that being said, let's get started. Man, before I get into the actual workout, first, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel, man. Also, if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up. That way I know you liked it and I can continue to record more videos like this. All right, now let's get into the actual workout. What we're gonna do, this is gonna be more of a circuit. So we're gonna do full body, but it's gonna be set up in rounds. We're gonna go through all these exercises, shooting for 10 reps of each. Here's the thing, like I mentioned earlier, if you have really light dumbbells, you can go all the way up to 20 reps with each of these exercises. If you have a little bit heavier dumbbells, then shoot for the 10 to 12 rep range. Okay, so it kind of depends on your setup at your house. But at the end of the day, you want to focus on really pushing yourself and making sure the weight is heavy enough for you to work. Either less reps or higher reps. You'll feel it once you start doing the exercises. All right, now the structure. I like to start with the largest muscle groups first. So we're actually going to be doing two different types of squats. All right, the first one is going to be a goblet squat. Basically what goblet squat is, you're gonna get a dumbbell, hold it up to your chest here. All right, the cool thing, the reason I like starting with the goblet squats, it allows you to get a really good stretch in your hips. So you can sink down really low here and kind of get down and work those hips a little bit. If you're just getting started and you're using this as your warm up, then really focus on, again, working this bottom range to open up your hips a little bit. Even if you struggle and you can't go this low, that's okay. Just make sure you're going as low as you can comfortably go, go. The one thing I do really want you to focus on, however, is making sure the dumbbell is close to your chest because what tends to happen as your arms start getting fatigued when you're doing these is it starts drifting away from your body, which is pushing you or pulling you away from your major support, all right? Your lumbar spine tends to get a lot of the actual uh, brunt of that when you do it. So make sure you're keeping your core tight and you're keeping this dumbbell as close to your chest as possible. All right, so from here, we're down, straight back up. One rep, two reps. Again, I'll show you, we'll go through 10 of these, show you what these should look like. The cadence you should be focused on, nice, slow, and under control. Four, five, six. We'll go four more here. Two, all right, two more. And then four. From here, we immediately go into our second exercise. I said it's a squat variation, but it's an actual lunge, all right? So what you're gonna do with this lunge here is do a reverse lunge and we're gonna alternate legs. So stepping back, down, step back. That's the reverse version of a lunge. It's one each. Three. The benefit of doing these back-to-back -back leg exercises like this, it's also gonna help pick up your metabolism so it's going to help you burn fat focused on building muscle but burning fat at the same time that's one of the biggest benefits of doing these full body workouts of course the other benefit is being able to work your entire body in about 20 minutes so you're spending 20 minutes on your workouts building muscle and burning fat all right we've got one more each leg All right, so now one more leg exercise. This one is geared more towards your hamstrings. It's a dumbbell RDL. Keep the dumbbells close to your body and you're gonna hit the hips, meaning you're getting your glutes back. 
take your glutes out or back. Bring the dumbbells down. Nice, good stretch. Right back to the top. Good stretch. 10 to 12 here. Four. more you notice I'm going nice and slow keep that back straight as well when you get here don't round your back keep it straight let's go two more all right now we've got our legs done we're gonna go into a floor press a bench press thing you really want to focus on when you're doing this is you wanna keep these out wide. If you don't have really heavy weights, I like flaring the elbows out a little bit more and go ahead and rotate those wrists as well. You don't want your palms facing directly away from you, more of a little rotation. And when you press up, bring these in. So out wide, press up and in. Wide and then up and in. I said light because if you have extremely heavy dumbbells and you're trying to work heavy with the floor press, then you actually want to bring your elbows in slightly like this. You still want to come down with your elbows in, but press up and in, okay? It's a little safer on your shoulders. However, with light dumbbells, you get a better stretch with your elbows flared out and it's safe on your shoulders because the weight you're using is so light. So once again, it just depends on the weight that you have access to at your house. One more, all right. So that's chest. We're gonna go from our chest into a dumbbell back row, okay? Same as when we did the RDL, we did that hip hinge movement. You're gonna do the same thing here, hip hinge, but you're keeping the dumbbells here and then sit back as far as you can. Keep your chest out here, and then you're gonna just drive the weight back with those elbows. Nice, good stretch. Drive back with the elbows. Five. Again, I'm doing about 10. If you've got really light weight, like I said, it's okay to go up to 20, just to make sure you're working with enough intensity but as a beginner there are still different levels of being a beginner so make sure you're staying within your comfort zone you got to push yourself challenge yourself but you don't want to injure yourself all right let's go one more there all right from back now we're going to do a shoulder exercise and the one i recommend shoulder overhead press from here Straight overhead, back down. Four, nice and slow and under control. Right. 10, all right, still holding on to your dumbbells. A cross body bicep curls. Cross just like this. Three. Four. You're almost done with this workout. At least the first round, anyways. So two more. One. One. Two, two. All right, the last one we're gonna do is for triceps, dumbbell tricep kickbacks. So the goal here is getting those elbows up behind your back, keeping them up high, and then bringing the dumbbells up. The other thing you really wanna focus on on the way down is flexing your biceps. That's gonna give you a great stretch in those triceps. Let's go four more. One. Three and four. All right, 
So that would be the end of round one. Rest anywhere between 60 seconds and two minutes. All right, and then you'll do this whole sequence again, starting back with the goblet squats. Couple points I do wanna make. Also, I said one or two rounds for beginners, but I also mentioned not all beginners are equal. So you can do this workout all the way up to four rounds, depending on where you're at. If you're just getting started working out, do one round, gauge it, see how you feel. Wait a day or two, then do it again. If you're not really sore, do two rounds, okay? Because that's the thing with this workout, you can do it three times a week, as long as you have a rest day in between. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, something like that. Just full body workout, 20 to 25 minutes, and then you're done for the week, all right? So it doesn't take a lot of work when you're working in circuits like this, increasing the intensity. You're focused on the rep range that's optimal for building muscle and also for maximizing your metabolism, which is gonna help you burn fat. So, all right guys, that's all I've got. So if you have any questions, comment below and let me know. Other than that, man, get busy, get after it. God bless.